So this question says the function of f is defined by f of x is equal to negative a to the x power plus b, where a and b are constants. In the xy plane, the graph of y equals f of x minus 15 has a y-intercept of 0. Okay, so let me, let me actually get started. I know that f of x is negative a to the x plus b. The next bit of information I'm provided is that we have y equals f of x minus 15. So I'm going to go up here and say, well, that would mean that y equals f of x, but f of x is the same as negative a to the x power plus b, and then minus 15. We're told that from that equation, the y-intercept is that when x equals 0, y is equal to negative 99 over 7. So that means I'd have negative 99 over 7 equals negative a to the 0 plus b minus 15. Simplifying this, I know that a to the 0 is just equal to 1. So I'd have negative 1 plus b minus 15 equals negative 99 over 7. Simplifying further, I'd have negative 99 over 7 equals b minus 16. I'm then told that the product of, oh, actually, I need to figure out what b is. So to, to solve for b, I'm going to add 16 to both sides here. I'm going to write this horizontally so we can see it more clearly. So I'd have negative 99 over 7 plus 16 equals b. I want to combine the fraction with the whole number. I'm going to treat this whole number as a fraction, so I'm going to call this 16 over 1. Of course, in order to add those, I need to have a common denominator. So I'm going to multiply both by 7, so the denominator and the numerator by 7. 16 times 7 is 40. I'm sorry, 16 times 7. I typed that in my calculator wrong. Is 112. So this would become negative 99 over 7 plus 112 over 7 is equal to b. Negative 99 plus 112 is 13. So this becomes 13 over 7 is equal to b. I'm then told that the product of a and b is 65 over 7. So that means a times b equals 65 over 7. I know that b is 13 over 7, so this turns into um, 13 over 7 times a equals 65 over 7. And then the question asks, what is the value of a? Well, all I have left to do here is to isolate a. I can isolate this by multiplying by the reciprocal of 13 over 7, which is 7 over 13, on both sides of the equation. That allows my 13s to cross out, my 7s to cross out, and provides the isolated A that I want. And then I can do some cross-cancellation here as well. 13 goes into itself once. It goes into 65 five times, and the 7s cross each other out. So therefore, A is equal to 5. So our answer here is 5.